In the cornea reflex, the examiner touches the cornea with a wisp of cotton. A normal reflex is a blink. The examiner must be certain to touch the cornea, not just the sclera, in order to evoke the corneal reflex. Remember that the cornea is the transparent part of the outer fibrous coat of the eyeball, while the sclera is the white part. The cornea is highly innervated and hence very sensitive for both pain and touch. The presence of a contact lens may abolish the ability to evoke the reflex. Afferent impulses from the cornea pass through the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve to the main sensory nucleus of the trigeminal which is located at the level of the pons. Interneurons connect the main sensory nucleus of the trigeminal with the motor nucleus of the facial nerve on both sides. The motor nucleus of facial nerve is also located at the level of the pons. Fibers arising from the facial motor nucleus will travel to the face and supply orbicularis oculi muscle, which is the sphincter muscle around the eye and is responsible for blinking. Thus the afferent pathway is the trigeminal nerve and the efferent pathway is the facial nerve.